In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about disposable hearing aid batteries. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Hearing aids require a lot of power in order to function. When you think about it, hearing aids are basically tiny little computers that sit behind or inside of your ears. And when I tell my patients that they can expect about a week's worth of battery life from those hearing aid batteries, they all seem shocked wondering why is it only a week? Think about your cell phone for a minute. You recharge it every single night and you don't even use it for 12 hours straight during the day. At least most of us don't use it for 12 hours straight during the day. But your hearing aids are constantly functioning all day, every day, except for when you're sleeping at night. And you need to have a battery that can actually provide this amount of power for a full seven days. So how do disposable batteries work? Well, in 1977, the first disposable hearing aid batteries came out, but they use mercury inside of those batteries. Since that point, the hearing aid battery manufacturers have been mandated to get rid of the mercury inside of their batteries, and now they use zinc air technology. Zinc air batteries work by removing a sticker or tab off of the back of the battery, which allows oxygen to get inside of the battery and mix with the zinc compound that is inside. When this happens, it charges up that battery and you're ready to use it inside of your hearing aid. All right, let's geek out a little bit and talk about voltage. Hearing aid batteries have about 1.45 volts, and this is when you remove the sticker and you allow at least a minute for the oxygen to get inside of that battery. If you don't do this, you won't get up to that full voltage and your battery life will suffer. Hearing aid batteries are designed to hold that voltage for a long period of time and then all of a sudden drop off the edge of a cliff when it can't maintain it, and this is when you get the low battery indicator inside of your hearing aids. So what things will affect your battery life? Well, first and foremost, the severity of your hearing loss will affect your battery life. If you need to get more power and more volume out of those hearing aids, it's gonna deplete those batteries even more. Battery size will also have a big play in this as well. The smaller the battery that you have, the less zinc they can hold inside of the battery, so the less chemical reaction that you have in order to create a charge. The different battery sizes are size 10, size 312, size 13, and size 675. It also depends on how many hours a day you're using hearing aids. If you use your hearing aids for only eight hours a day, you'll get more days of battery life than if you use your hearing aids for 16 hours a day. You also need to ask yourself what type of accessories you're using. If you're streaming audio directly from an iPhone or from a TV streamer or something like that, your battery drain is going to be much higher when you're streaming. And with this advent of Bluetooth technology and all these other digital features that you have inside of hearing aids, it can actually increase the battery drain by up to 300%. Other factors like humidity, temperature, and altitude will also have a play on how long your batteries last. If you are at higher altitudes, you will get less battery life. If you are in higher humidity areas, you'll get less battery life. And with temperature in the different extremes, either hot or cold, will also dramatically reduce your battery life. And when you start combining all three of these factors, you can have a really big depletion in those batteries. So what do you not want to do with hearing aid batteries? Well, first, you don't want to put them in the fridge. I remember growing up, we always used to put batteries in the fridge to try to maintain their battery life. It does not work with hearing aid batteries, so do not try it. In fact, just like I mentioned before, if you do put them in extreme temperatures, you're going to actually reduce your battery life. The other thing you don't want to do is store these batteries either loosely together or with other metal objects. Even if you have the stickers on the back of the battery, you still run the risk of shorting out those batteries and ruining them. The other thing you want to make sure you do is keep them out of the reach of children and pets because if they eat them, they are poisonous and you'll have to call poison control. And on top of that, do not eat them yourself. All right, now you know how hearing aid batteries work, what affects battery life, and what not to do with your hearing aid batteries. But what do you look for in a hearing aid battery? First, you should get your hearing aid batteries from either a hearing care provider or an online company that goes through batteries very quickly. If you end up going into a grocery store and buy these batteries that are marked down in price or two for one, chances are those batteries are old and you will not get the same type of battery performance out of those batteries. So your best bet, go to a hearing care provider, go online, and make sure you get batteries that are fresh. 
The next thing you want to do is pay attention to the color. All hearing aid batteries are color coded. The very smallest batteries are size 10 batteries and they are color coded with the color yellow. The next size up from that is size 312. They are color coded brown. The next size up from that is size 13. They are color coded orange. The next size up from that is size 675 and they are color coded blue. Don't just buy the cheapest hearing aid battery out there. You run the risk of sacrificing performance and you might even run a higher risk of corrosion or battery leakage. And finally, you should be trying different battery brands. Do not fall for the marketing of these manufacturing companies. You want to make sure that you find a hearing aid battery that performs the best with your hearing loss, your hearing aids, and your requirements in terms of what accessories you're using. Different hearing aid batteries are not created equal, and even if they have the highest milliamp hour ratings on those batteries, that is a misnomer in the hearing industry. You wanna make sure that you find the battery that has the best performance with your hearing aids, not just the largest milliamp hours. Of course, if you don't want to use disposable hearing aid batteries anymore, there are options out there for you. You could go with the Z-Power rechargeable batteries that use silver zinc technology, and they have conversion kits for most types of hearing aids, and you can convert your existing hearing aids into a rechargeable version of themselves. All you have to do is ask your hearing care provider to see if there's a kit that's compatible with your hearing aid. Ultimately, there are a lot of disposable hearing aid battery options out there. You just have to spend the time and effort to find out which disposable batteries are right for you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.